That's what it's something in. This is Lloyd Paul Sr. Lloyd L. Paul Sr. Just come back with a little story for you. And you know what I'm going to say. Kids don't just smoke. It's bad for you. I cut back a lot since Christmas holidays. But anyways, we're talking way back in the day when I was 18 years old. I hitchhiked all the way to Toronto and I found this native hostel called the Namures. So I crashed out over there and was hanging out with uh, the natives up in Toronto. So, well, all was good. And I was like, I'm going to walk down to the Eaton Center downtown, Young Street. If anyone knows Toronto, they don't know exactly what I'm talking about. So I walked down that way, <laughs> and uh, like uh, I seen this guy he stopped me on the side of the road. He said, "Hey, man," he wouldn't let me pass him. I feel like a football player. I had, couldn't get by him. Right in the main drag of Toronto, sky risers everywhere. So I'm like, man, just trying to walk down the road, man. Let me pass. And he's like, "Nope, you are my source of energy." I was looking at him. Source of energy. And he kept on trying to grab me, lunging at me and stuff. That was just one one little incident. Then I walked up the road a little further up to uh, Bay Street in Toronto. And went down Shepherd and I think it was uh, St. Clair West or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, I was standing there. Well, the guy with the source of the energy freaked me right out. So I went up to the payphone. Back then, there was payphones, yeah. It was way back in the day. It was payphones. I had my quarter. I was a buddy on the payphone. It was like five payphones standing there. Well, they were there. And I think it was Bay Street. Yeah, Bay Street. Right smack in the middle of Toronto. And friggin' uh... I stand there, hmm, hmm, hmm. I stand there and I could hear the guy cursing. If you guys are sensitive to swearing, turn your volume off or something, or tell the kids to go in the room or something. <laughs> this guy was freaking out on his woman. You fucking bitch, bah, 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 going on and freaking right out. Excuse my language, I don't like to cuss around doing my videos <clears throat> but then I'm just standing there I said, man this buddy's having me. somebody pissed in his Cheerios this morning so I don't say nothing I'm just standing there I gotta make a call to uh, the place where I can get my welfare check in the middle of Toronto so that's all good you know he had a jean jacket on and stuff and then uh, I don't know what it, did I say I said uh uh, I'm going to use the phone after you because there was other people waiting too. But he turned around with a friggin' gun. Looked like a great big hand cannon. Desert Eagle. Great in my face. Get the fuck out of here and find another phone. <laughs> I said, that's alright, I'm native. I'll make smoke signals. Don't worry about me, man. Peace. Sorry, man. I don't know, man. His wife was friggin' running around on him with another woman. <laughs> the city life, I'll tell you. We went to this place, downtown Toronto. This is all 18 years old. Hitchhiked up all the way up there. Took a little bit. So the next thing I went to his house, and this guy opened the little window. You alone? Yeah, I'm alone. You got money? Show me my money. Come on in. Next, you know, went in the side there. It was a bunch of chairs all sitting around. And I didn't know it was uh, somebody sent me over there. He said, if you're looking for a drink or something like that. So anyways, they serve beer in there. But you just sit on like bingo chairs or something. So I'm sitting there like that and just enjoying myself. Anyways, I just wanted to get this little story out. It was way back in the day when I was 18 years old and I hitchhiked all the way to Toronto. I did twice actually, but that was a couple incidents. The guys freaked me right out. 
well, source of energy. You are my source of energy. And I was looking at I don't know what to say about this. So anyways, I got a train and I came back to Nova Scotia. Good old Scotia. Anyways, I'm back home. And I've been, never went back. I went to Toronto, I went to uh, Montreal, I hitchhiked up there, hitchhiked back, I mean, from Toronto. That's quite the place, too. But anyways, guys, you guys all have a great New Year's and 2020. You guys all enjoy it. Have a great day. Lloyd Paul Sr. Yes! <laughs> Story time. Peace.